Hi doctors, welcome to the new episode of our A to Z series where every day alphabetically we discuss one of the most repeated previous year topics of INICET, NEET PG and FMGE and our today's episode is episode G where G stands for Glasgow Comma Scale GCS. Now before studying Glasgow Comma Scale in detail, we must keep this basic statement in mind which will make our discussion very easy that is 4E plus 5V plus 6M is equal to 15. Now let's continue. Now let's understand what is Glasgow Comma Scale. The Glasgow Comma Scale GCS is a neurological assessment tool used to evaluate the levels of consciousness and neurological functions in a patient with acute brain injuries. It consists of three components, eye-opening response, verbal response and motor response. Each component is assigned a score and the cumulative score represents the patient's overall level of consciousness. So now let's break down GCS in an easy way, starting with how to assess eye-opening. If the patient spontaneously opens his or her eyes, four points are given. Now let's assume the patient's name is Mr. X. We will ask the patient, Hello Mr. X, open your eyes. Now if the patient responds to the speech and opens his eyes, we give him three points. If the patient only opens his eyes after a pain stimuli is given, two points are given. If there is no response, one point is given. We must remember we never give zero points, one is the least we can give. Now let's move ahead in learning how we assess verbal response. First, we ask the patient a question. For example, we will ask, hello Mr. Rex, what year is it? If the patient gives the correct answer, we consider the patient is oriented and give 5 points. If the patient shows a confused conversation, then 4 points are given. If the patient answers in some random inappropriate words, we give 3 points. But if the patient only screams, groans or moans, such response is considered as incomprehensive sound and 2 points are given. But if there is no response, 1 point is given. Now let's move ahead and learn the assessment of motor response. First we will ask the patient to show some motor response. For example, Hello Mr. Rex, show me your two fingers. If the patient obeys your command and shows two fingers, then six points are given. If the patient localizes a motor response, five points are given. If the patient withdraws on an external stimuli, four points are given. If abnormal flexion response is seen, three points are given. But if only extensor response is present, just two points are given and one point is given on no response. So now let's practice how to calculate GCS with the help of some previous year questions. A 32 year old male patient was admitted to the emergency department following a road traffic accident. He sustained head trauma and is currently receiving mechanical ventilation. The patient responds to verbal commands by opening his eyes and exhibits spontaneous movements in all four limbs. What is the Glasgow Comma Scale score for this patient? Option A. Eyes 2, Verbal 1, Motor 5. Option B. Eyes 2, Verbal NT, Motor 5. Option C. Eyes 3, Verbal 2, Motor 6. And Option D. Eyes 3, Verbal 1 and Motor 6. So which option do you think is the right one? Well yes, the correct option is option B, eyes 2, verbal NT and motor 5. Eyes 2 is given because the patient opens his eyes spontaneously indicating a score of 2. Verbal NT, verbal response is not testable due to the intubation and mechanical ventilation. Therefore, it is marked as NT. Motor 5, the patient exhibits spontaneous movements in all the four limbs suggesting a score of 5. Our next question is calculate the GCS score in an intubated patient with findings of eye movements to pain and abnormal flexion. Option A E2 V2 M4 Option B E2 V3 M3 Option C E2 V4 M3 and Option D E2 V1 and M3 
Which option do you think is the correct one? Well, yes, option D, E2, V1, M3 is the correct option. So the last MCQ for today is determine the Glasgow comma scale score for a patient who displays response to pain by opening their eyes, is conscious but confused, unable to perceive time and demonstrates flexion in response to painful stimuli applied to the arm. Option A, 8. Option B, 9. Option C, 10. And option D, 11. Yes, the correct option is option C, 10. The total GCS score ranges from 3 to 15, with 15 indicating a fully alert and responsive patient and 3 representing deep unconsciousness. The interpretation of GCS score is as follows. GCS 13 to 15 indicates mild brain injury or altered mental status without significant impairment. GCS 9 to 12 indicates moderate brain injury or moderate levels of impairment. GCS 3 to 8 indicates severe brain injury or significant impairment indicating a loss of consciousness. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you in our next episode which is going to be episode H.